In the Indian state of Tamil Nadu, the traditional sport of Jalakadu, which involves taming wild bulls, is very popular. Young men compete in this sport by attempting to seize hold of the hump of a bull and maintain their grip on it as the bull makes an effort to flee. The state of Tamil Nadu is home to an ancient sporting tradition that dates back thousands of years and is strongly rooted in the region's culture. The Jalakadu competition is most frequently staged in conjunction with the Pongal festival, which takes place in the month of January. The residents of Tamil Nadu hold a deeply spiritual connection to the bulls that are used in the sport since they have been specifically bred for the occasion. The sport is viewed as a method to show respect for the bulls as well as the bravery and ability of the young men who participate in it. The regulations of Jalakatu are easy to understand and follow. After being held in a holding pen for a while, the bull is let loose and runs into an arena where young men are waiting. The men make an effort to seize hold of the bull's hump and maintain their grip for as long as they can. The bull, on the other hand, is attempting to get away from the men and get back into the holding cage. The one who is able to keep their grip on the bull for the longest amount of time is the winner. The sport of Jalakatu is extremely hazardous, and it is not uncommon for either the competitors or the bulls to sustain injuries. Bulls are frequently agitated by the young guys, who tease and poke them in an effort to coax them into running faster and behaving more aggressively. Participants frequently sustain injuries when they are thrown off the bull or when they are gored by the horns of the animal. In spite of the inherent risks involved, Jalakadu has been strongly ingrained in the culture of Tamil Nadu for centuries, and many residents of the state consider it to be an essential component of their legacy. However, in recent years there has been a growing campaign to abolish the sport on the basis that it is cruel to animals and should be banned. Some who are opposed to the sport of Jalakata claim that it is inhumane to the bulls involved and that it puts the players in needless danger. They highlight the fact that many bulls are hurt or killed during the event, as well as the fact that participants frequently suffer major injuries as a result of the event. Animal rights activists have also stated that the bulls are put through needless stress and terror throughout the event. They believe this contributes to the bulls' poor performance. In spite of these issues, the tradition of Jalakadu continues to be widely practiced and held in high esteem throughout Tamil Nadu. The sport is seen by a lot of people as a chance to get in touch with their cultural heritage and to pay respect to the sacred bulls that have been a part of their lives for years and generations. As a result of this, it is likely that the discussion on whether or not to ban Jalakadu will continue for some time, with both sides vehemently expressing their respective points of view.